Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 11th of 2020. Well, it is titled an extreme black hole outburst. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken of a cluster of galaxies and the infrared image which kind of underlies everything shows those galaxies as white dots. Now the others that we see we're also seeing combinations and that we see this in x ray images uh, in the purple color and the radio image as well in the blue. So we're looking at this across the electromagnetic spectrum. We're looking at it in infrared and x rays and radio waves to try to get a good complete picture of it. And what it we're seeing is evidence of a massive black hole outburst. Now if we think of black holes, black holes, uh, nothing can escape from one. So once something gets inside a black hole, it's never coming out. So the outburst is not coming from within the black hole itself, but from the area around the black hole. And these supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies, many billions of times the mass of our own sun, do gather in or accrete material into a disk around it. So as that material spirals in, uh, it will it will generate a lot of energy. Now, if what happens is that sometimes a black hole may try to collect too much material. Maybe a star cluster passed too close to the black hole being ripped apart and there was just more material than the black hole was able to deal with. When this happens, jets of material can spread can come out uh, perpendicular to that accretion disk and that can result in a lot of energy being released. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing the edge of this cavity which is labeled uh, labeled here in the center of the image. And that is the amount of energy needed to then to do that is about 10 billion supernova explosions. So a supernova exploding uh, is a star at the end of its life. And this is, you know, much, much bigger than anything we see with those. So to give us an idea of how energetic these things might be, uh, this again is worth 10 billion supernova explosions. But how big is a supernova explosion? Well, you could take 10 billion nuclear warheads and all of those going off at once would not even be the tiniest fraction of the energy released in a supernova. It would take many more than 10 billion nuclear warheads to equate the energy of a supernova of a supernova supernova. And we need 10 billion supernovae to equate the energy here. So this is far beyond anything we can imagine and something that astronomers again are studying to try to learn about what happens with the black holes at the centers of these galaxies. Now the black holes exist at the center of just about every galaxy. So it's not that this galaxy is unique in having a black hole. Our own Milky Way has a black hole at the center. However, what's different is that this one happened to have been accreting enough material to undergo this extreme outburst that we've now been able to detect and then helps us to study a little more about what happens as these black holes accrete excess amounts of material. So that was our picture of the day for March the 11th of 2020. It was titled an extreme black hole outburst. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.